How's that? A bit more that way. So yeah, right that's central that's then. Look at that. Come on, blimey. Um, God, that sounds like an exam question. <laughs> it could be an earthquake. A flood. A cyclone. Refugees fleeing a war zone. At Shelterbox, we make sure that no family goes without shelter. The first thing is to mobilise our response teams to get aid. It, it doesn't happen like that. It starts much earlier. Before a disaster happens, we make sure we're ready to respond. Careful planning saves time and money. It's unglamorous, practical stuff like logistics and visas. Agreements with governments and partners. Shipping aid six months in advance is way cheaper than flying it in last minute. Training volunteers. Testing, developing, refining. So we're ready for anything. Then disaster happens. I get the call. Drop everything. There's a very short time scale for actually getting ready. I've got to make sure that there's somebody there to feed the cat. You have to take time off from your job. I have a very understanding set of friends and family. <laughs> We aim to get to the hard-to-reach places. Tuk-tuks. Helicopters. Boats. Bikes. Tractors and trailers and trucks. Five-hour hike carrying a hundred boxes. We will do whatever it takes to get to the people that need us. No matter how much planning we do, there are always hold-ups outside of our control. 24 hours held up getting documents signed. Broken bridges, no fuel for our vehicles. Lack of access. Phone infrastructure can be down. Safety concerns. Dealing with bureaucracy. Not everybody has the same sense of urgency that we have. It can be massively frustrating. You want to be out there and you want to be active. But we've got to ensure that it's not just about getting the aid in, it's getting it in safely, it's ensuring that it's the right thing to do for that particular community or at that particular time. That's why we do so much planning up front. We learn from delays. We're always working to save time. We travel to the hard to reach places. Overcome obstacles. And help people that others can't or won't.